Well, good morning, South Avenue. Here we are, it's Wednesday, June 10th. We are counting down the last three days of school. This is the third to last morning news. And I think it's a good thing too, because based on the number of views, I don't think anybody's watching at this point. I think it's just my parents and my in-laws. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Trudy. Hi, Dennis. Yeah, hopefully everybody's outside, running around, getting some fresh air, getting some exercise, exploring nature, checking out phenomenon, doing lots of things more interesting than um, looking at a screen. What's for lunch? What's for lunch? Anybody know? What's for What's lunch? For lunch? What's for lunch? So, there is, you know, the, the Beacon City School District uh, food service people and the administration and all the people who've been giving out lunches, they hit 100,000 meals the other day. So that means that, that they got in the pallets of food, they unpacked these giant pallets of food, they put them in all these different bags, and they, they had a whole production line, everybody chipped in, all these people put together the food, then the other people brought in groceries, and uh, they, they had a whole operation going every Monday and Wednesday, people coming through, 100,000 meals they were able to send out to Beacon. That's amazing, and you might say, after 100,000 meals, phew, that was hard, I think I'll take a little break. But, are they taking a break? No, they're actually adding a level of difficulty. Today, they're going to have uh, a special lunch. Okay, so pay attention here. June 10th, they're hosting a drive-up barbecue and ice cream day. I mean, it's not enough to, to you know, do all that other stuff. Now they're like, well, you know, 100,000 lunches, that's, that's cake. What we need to do is make it more challenging. And, and how about a barbecue? Yeah, barbecue, that sounds good. Maybe we should add an ice cream too. Yeah, that sounds good. It's amazing. Thank you so much, all the folks who have been working so hard to get out those meals. And today, if you go down to South Avenue or the high school, they will be providing the regular meals, and today's meal is a special barbecue and ice cream. So they're suggesting to bring the kids, like if I think if you're used to just you know going and picking it up, um, one person, maybe bring everybody, and uh, they're gonna have uh, a hot burger, watermelon, and ice cream. Um, it, then that's going to be at Beacon High School in South Avenue. But pay attention here. It's not at 10. It's at 11. 11. Okay, so if you're in the mood for a little barbecue and uh, you want some lunches for the rest of the week, you're going to need to head down to South Avenue or the high school at 11 today. Also, You'll be happy to know I did not procrastinate yesterday by pickling some scapes. Or maybe you're not happy to know that. Maybe you really wanted to see those scapes pickled. Uh, no, I instead realized that I had already procrastinated too much already and had to work the whole day on that slideshow. So there was no additional procrastination time. But from a professional procrastinator, let me just give you a little pro tip. If you're going to delay doing something that you really need to do, do something else that's just a little less fun, right? Don't go play video games to procrastinate. That's like, that's bad news. Just choose something a little less fun to do, and then you'll get something else done at least. For instance, when I used to sit down to write a paper, I would have to, you know, look, I'd look around my room and say, oh, this room is just too messy for me to get my work done. So. I would procrastinate, but at least I'd be cleaning my room, right? Yeah, I still left things to the last minute. It's not a good habit. Don't procrastinate. But if you are gonna procrastinate, do it the right way. The weather today. Let's see, in Beacon, uh, it's gonna be warm, high around 88. And, you know, in their little graphic, they have a sun and a cloud and one little 
rain drop with a 5% next to it. So maybe a shower will come through today. Um, we'll see. It's your birthday today. It's your birthday today. There's a cat licking your birthday cake. It's your birthday today. It June 10th is a popular day for birthdays. We've got four today. Ramiro Martinez, Sabine Perez, Ava Lasseter, and Jaden Lasseter. Happy birthday! Congratulations on completing another trip around the sun. And in other news, my daughter will be wrapping up her project today, um, the project where she made the t-shirts and sold the t-shirts um, to raise money to uh, help out our link school in Ethiopia. And yesterday I got an email from the, the coordinator of Link Ethiopia, and he had talked to um, the gentleman in uh, Gondar, Ethiopia, and he had gone to the school and talked to them, and they said they didn't weren't they didn't need uh, the water uh, station fixed, but that they were building a new uh, preschool and kindergarten building, and that the money would could go towards a new uh, preschool and kindergarten building. So we're super excited that that money that was raised can be uh, used for a new building. That would be super cool to see. So um, that's the. That's the conclusion, I guess, uh, until we actually go. Uh, that is the conclusion of the, the t-shirt saga. And she gives her presentation via Zoom today. And that's it for today's uh, South Avenue. Um, we will be putting out a link for the fifth grade moving up slideshow to the fifth graders uh, later today. And um, I gotta get, get working on that. Uh, so have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully you're not watching this. You're, you're playing Frisbee. Do people still play Frisbee? Frisbee's awesome, you should play Frisbee. I've got a, a t-shirt, a yellow, yellow t-shirt. And on my yellow t-shirt, there's a great big me.